Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Olympus Sky for another crazy episode. Um, up front I would like to tell you, um, I may, mm, might make some mistakes here and there, but because this video is pretty hard to do, remember this is unscripted and I will not edit a video. Um, I'm just against that, basically. But um, yeah, so so let's talk about the Aristarchus Crater. Um, I, I'm pretty new to this thing. A lot of people are saying, yeah, well, it's a power plant and this and that. And I have no idea what, why, why people think that. Uh, the only reason is because it's a little bit brighter. Which, um, yeah, it is suspicious, but there's a lot more stuff going on. Um, I would like to analyze this area and I might go into the su into a subject that is highly speculative at the end of the video or make a separate video but I'm pretty sure it's it's not really speculation but you know it's 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 a crazy idea Let, let's face it the entire world has been built by crazy people <coughs> accept it um, so um, which one shall I take where, where shall, shall we start so um, basically, um, yeah, while well, people think that it's it is a power plant here, see, uh, we're on the original here. This image is from NASA. Um, the images I will be using here, I will not be linking it directly to the to the um, to the website where I got it from. But uh, this one's from NASA, and the rest is amateur astronomer footage. Um, and I will uh, in this video also find out that amateur footage is a lot better than what NASA is giving. Um, his name is um, Dominique. Diridic, Diedrich, and uh, all credits to him basically. Um, I had no way of contacting him, uh, asking if I could use the image, uh, the image. But um, you know, I, I'm going to take the risk. I don't care. You have to see this, and I think he did a wonderful job at um, you know taking images uh, of the moon. Now uh, let's let's jump into this one because this is the one from NASA, which is one of the actually one of the best images um, of the moon from them. In my opinion, you see a lot of stuff going on there. Uh, like uh, when you look through an amateur telescope, you see the kind of greenish hue here. It almost looks like a uh, lake and everything, which is really, really cool to to look at. But um, let's jump into it. You, know, you got have here the Aristarchus Crater, <laughs> and I, I will not like. I probably put something like power, not a power plant or power plant in the in the title so that people who are looking for this that they can find my video because I wasn't able to find anything decent about this and you know people one, one person says hey yeah, look it's a power plant and then everyone on the internet goes behind it and says yeah yeah look at it it's a power plant and this and that so entire website opened up just about this look it's a power plant this and that and um, you know I was looking at it and I was pretty sure that that, that is not the case um, at least in my opinion, but we will get into this. Basically, what we what we'll be, we will be looking at is not only just just the crater itself, because it, it is definitely intriguing, but the surrounding areas here. Now, when we will look at this area here, you can see kind of a square, like a rectangular block here with a different color. I mean, look, there are filters going on, that's fine. But you know, the fact that, that, this diff that there is a different color there, so filter or not, it does appear to have a different color than the rest of the moon. Um, so something is definitely going on there. Um, I let's grab a look on another image so you can see the rest of the image is fine here. This is the amateur footage. You can see it's kind of squared off here and it has a different color. Also, it seems to uh, appear to elevate. Um, let me make another layer here. Oops, and let's call that brush and I'll brush it out for you. And uh, you know, I, d I don't think I have to do that on every single image. If you want it, you can do it yourself. And uh, let me change everything here. Always messing around, you know. And two pixels. All right, that's fine. So, I mean, if you look at it, it goes like this. And you can, uh, you're like literally squared off where it's, it's kind of has a different thing going on there. And you can see also see that this, this kind of area here, it is elevated. It's like it's going up. You can see this by this line here, and then you can see a uh, shadow here, whatever it is. But this is definitely higher up this line. And uh, same goes for this. A lot of debris here, it seems to go like slope up, which is interesting because it doesn't look a lot like uh, some kind of mountain area, whatever you like to call it. So let's first off, let's look at the crater. And um, I will agree that it is different when you look at the moon and. Um, 
if this is a creator and what I know I remember like a conversation between Boss Aldrin and Armstrong they were talking about this uh, feature why it is so lighting up now let me zoom out you can see that is clearly it is sticking out um, it's um, when you look at all the creators they generally don't do that I mean you look you get kind of okay this thing it's 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 kind of very interesting um, they, they were talking about it's catching the light from the earth which I understand if you think about a mirror inside a telescope a parabolic mirror what it basically does is it kind of catches light here and then kind of focuses it here so definitely you know I can understand that the crater because it's kind of shaped like this it it kind of catches more light but why is it not happening to other craters if you know what i'm talking about um this is what interests uh, scientists as well and um you know they came up basically with that but uh, it's not happening on other craters so it's it is very interesting um a couple of more images here this is from the clementine mission 1994 and well well basically it was a military satellite thing um, they made one and a half million pictures. They released about only hundred thousand. The rest like disappeared magically. Uh, get used to it. <laughs> they still haven't been released, which is uh, a darn shame. Um, let's grab. Uh, let's let's see. Uh, this one I got from the website. You look for Aristarchus Crater um, Power Plant on Google. You'll find this one on the website, and now uh, you can find um, you know more pictures. <laughs> So when you look at this one, let's uh, deactivate this. So people actually think that the center here is protruding out. <coughs> this is uh, actually due to the angle and everything. But this line is actually going down and he got kind of the center here. It's definitely not like like coming out, like going to into the air. Um let's go uh, let's go jump in and you will see that, that when we, whenever we look at Aristarchus it always changes. Uh, you can definitely see that uh, it has a ridge so this is the NASA image and it's 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 a crater that is actually sticking out of the ground so so that's for sure and then it's kind of hollow in the center let's go to the next one this is the amateur footage really nice detail a lot more than NASA so um, hello guys could you please work on yourself because this is hilarious not really but you know what, what I'm talking about here um, another amateur footage you can see it's protruding out um, it's kind of I would say just a bit higher than any other crater I mean it is comparable to this one when you look at the ridges now let's go to Google <clears throat> now first of all just hold on just one second here I would like to to talk about a really important feature here that seems to disappear um, this is the NASA image so I hope you can rem remember that one basically the second one is the main image um, got a brush layer let's grab it this feature here, it is it is like a very clear feature um, if if this disappears then this should disappear as well and this as well um, this is definitely um, pretty sizable wouldn't you say so NASA what the hell where the hell is that thing it's gone let's go to none we have the ridge here amateur footage we have the ridge here in 1994 Clementine picture, which looks absolutely horrible. But this feature here is undeniably in there, and it's it's just too big. A camera must pick it up. But yet, the official NASA image here, which I will link in the description. No worry, I will link this one. Um, where is it? It's gone. So. <laughs> I've uh, actually tried to look at this uh, very critically. I have seen some manipulation marks uh, here and there. Excuse me, there's a bit of nose problems as always. And um, let's see. No, I don't remember where this picture came from. Uh, just going over it. See again. You can see this uh, this feature here. And now when we go to this image here, you can see now that it it's just a regular crater. Um, you you could actually see. Let's go back. A lot of switching I know is. Look how interesting this ridge is. Look how interesting. You can see all those details. There's some kind of hollowed out region here and everything. And then you go back here. For one. That uh, the kind of thing we were talking about, that kind of circular, circular feature thing, 
isn't anywhere to be seen here. Well, look at this. Look at this. Um, this is just not right. I mean, maybe this entire image is hoaxed. I have no idea what is going on, but there's definitely something going on. Um, let's go back to Google. Let's grab another one. Um, Wikipedia, whatever. Uh, you can see this is just a different bridge. This is just something else. Let's go back to this one. Let, let's let's grab a look here. Uh, let's look for the features. So I'm, I still can't find it. Let's let's grab. I haven't checked these images out myself as well. All right, official uh, image here. Finally, we can see it here. Interesting. But it all looks so flat. And once we'll get into this, you will see something very amazing. And you know, let's let's jump into this. So we got this. Um, like I told you in the beginning of the video, this this isn't really the uh, the easiest thing to present here. Basically, what I found there is some kind of city next to it, and you can see it's boxed off. Now, I think this one's really really clear. Alright, let's just go for this one. Duplicate layer, forget me for, you know, it looks a bit rubbish and everything. That's just the way it is. But you can see it in the original image as well. So let's go with this layer. I'll draw it out for you. And as always, make your own conclusions. But um, look at it. Something uh, interesting feature in the middle. And we look closer here. I think these, uh, these, these pixels are definitely in there. It will go like this. A kind of interesting line here. There seems to be a dot here, a dot here, a dot here. And you can see that it, it looks very interesting. Could this be some kind of, I don't know, like a little small leftover building from I don't know uh, what time period. But it looks very interesting. Now when you look at this, you can see clearly that it's elevated, that this whole brown piece here, it is elevated. So there are so many questions, <laughs> like I told you, I don't know what's up with this color. And even if they use, like, of course they're using filters, but you know what I'm trying to tell you here. Even if you have a filter, you just, just turn on some sunglasses on, um, look at something, and you will clearly distinguish that something has a different color intensity, no matter what goggles or things you will put on your head. So it is interesting. No idea what's going on there. You can clearly see that the ridge here is, is more defined than on the uh, NASA image. Uh, let's go back to the NASA image. Um, this one's pretty hardcore, but when we look here, there's absolutely no village whatsoever, no square rectangular thing. I cannot find that really important feature. Now you might say, look, I, I agree, this layer is a bit too wild, too crazy. Um, I, I just don't see it. So where's that really important feature? That is that is the question. You can <laughs> literally see, look how, how elevated it is. It almost seems like... Um, I'm giving a look at it. It's almost... It's bizarre. When you look at this, it's it's weird. Um, let's see if we can um, grab this. And, you know, uh, turn it around a bit. Just for the uh, perspective here. And you can see this really annoying... I don't know if you can see it. It's really annoying... Um, artifacts so I mean look at it see it's it almost looks like there's some kind of wall around this crater you can see it's sticking out in this picture it actually almost looks like a cylinder or some sort but I'm pretty sure it's not but on the other hand I mean uh, just just again I'll draw it out for you you know it's it's destroyed we're on the moon it, it doesn't have to be like completely fit and smooth but if I draw this line here you can see I just, just simply follow the debris here and it is surrounded by some kind of squarish thing and it's, it's bizarre that nobody actually looked at this and just at the crater itself but not even at the surrounding areas so if this is an, an, an anomaly I don't know what's up with my speech here but um, if this is an anomaly my, my key rule is if something is suspicious look at the surrounding area so let's say that this anomaly was destroyed 
and there must be some kind of stuff around it and when you go just a bit further you have a higher chance that something has survived there and that's kind of the key of when you're looking at anomalies so there's also another interesting feature here I wasn't able to confirm it I'm not entirely sure but if I will draw it out for you it's it's you can see this but that is absolutely not 100 percent you can see it like in, in the original image as well but I'm not entirely sure if it's an artifact or not uh, keep it real now but uh, it is very interesting I also remember that a new crater was formed right in, in this area it was a weird object and almost looked like it shot something off don't really want to get into it but it was the same area that's just sheer speculation so should I go into the next subject or not? Just let me look at different images here. You know, let's let's. I don't like this image because when you when you zoom out, you can see that this is kind of focused on um, making like an overall image that has absolutely no focus on the area here. And I will zoom out here. You will see that it's it's kind of has a better focus to it. So in other images, you wouldn't be able to uh, to see this kind of village. Um, neither here I'm guessing but you know look at it see it's kind of tried to make a picture of the entire moon nevertheless it's NASA I mean we're giving them lots lots of money and it's it's just unsatisfactory and you know I'll, I'll go into this and so this part here will be just just some speculation here and there just think whatever you like to think I think there's a lot more going on the moon than than we think basically um particularly you know you know the lines here all right wait i have prepared this just give me a moment here let me look like i told you it's all unscripted um, i can make some mistakes here and there and let me zoom out might actually flip this image here you can see this kind of ridge here, it, it, it is elevated and it has it is going down here. This thing, whatever this line is, that line is elevated. You can see here by the ridge, it's a bit more clear. There is an elevation here and then it's kind of dark here. So this is on the, on a higher level, I mean on a lower level. And it could be like a, even a lower level because we now will enhance it for you. Uh, we will grab a look here, let me duplicate this layer maybe the other one let me check out this one is a bit crazy but i think i'll start with this one it is a pretty long video there's a lot of stuff going on here so forgive me for that um, all right particularly this nasa image here i was able to confirm what we are going to check out here just in this image particularly and let me Yes, in all, and I know it looks a bit rubbish, but all we want is basically the main lines are the ones we can trust the most. And just a bit, you know, bring it a bit up here. <clears throat> so what we are looking at is when you look at it, you look at the pattern of the debris here. Is you have this this crater and it's a mysterious shiny crater. Uh, by the way, I think this is kind of the, the village we're talking about, some kind of S shape in it. But uh, I'm unable to find the feature we were talking about. Um, how to approach this? So there's some stuff here. This debris is like going like this. Let me remove the line. And it's kind of overflow, but you can see that there is some debris going like this. And going back here. And then going back here. A very interesting line, so to say. But what is even more interesting is we will go up. Not only do we have some kind of 90 degree angle here, but it looks very definitive. Um, but uh, I mean, uh, there are a lot of pixels here. See how... Now let me remove the lines again. Can you see this? It's pretty crazy. And I think that there's a lot more going on there. So you, let's look at this ridge just for perspective. Definitely higher up. Then you got this black area here. It is lower. So it's darker. We can see some stuff popping out here. And it's probably uh, protruding out of the wall here. And then if we will look at this. This weird strange area with these kind of lines here. 
Um, I mean, hell, what program creates this? Look at it. It's going here, and then kind of connects here. I don't know to this. You know what I said here to this area? Not sure. But then we got this line here, and it's it, it is very weird. Now let me remove the lines here, so it's all connected to this weird line here, and. Let me find another thing here. I think it was on the other layer. Here. Let me do this quickly. Very vague. <laughs> Cannot trust this. But you can see that there is some stuff going on. I have no idea how to explain this. And it almost seems like an odd degree angle. Hold on. Let me grab the other image. Pretty big video, I know. Um. This was the amateur footage, and here again, you are able to see this kind of line here, kind of goes like this, you know, and then see it kind of makes a 90 degree angle, and it goes to these flat, flat surfaces sticking out here, very interesting. Well, I mean, um, when you look at an image like in Hans Weiss here, it looks so much, there's so much more to see here, it is really cool to look at, um, I think... Uh, let me see, just just for perspective, we'll grab the original image. You can see that this is higher up. This is definitely like a line sticking out of the ground. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, if you don't believe it, or you think that's one of these marks here, uh, one of those crater mark, crater marks. No, this line is actually sticking out. And I haven't checked this out properly myself. You can see here, this weird rock we were talking about. Um, the kind of interesting shapes here. This is kind of, let me zoom out just a bit here. See this kind of the really interesting area here. Now let's look at it. You got it as well here. Um, you got the sort of the 90 degree angle here as well, and you got some interesting lines here as well. Let's see. You can see it in the original image vaguely here. So make your own conclusions. That's that's what I'm always trying to tell you. And I will share these enhanced images on, uh, on my Google Plus, so you'll be able to look at this for yourself. Which is very interesting. Let's see. So my point eventually is, it's a bit darker here, but it's actually it has more depth and height to it than uh, than we think. It's pretty far away, and it's hard to maybe just f see the details here. But if you are an amateur astronomer, I mean, you gotta admit this is really interesting. Um, shall we give it a try? I'm sure we can pull out the details here as well. Um, just a bit of sharpening here. So do you now see that this is an elevated part. This is not flat. This is definitely not flat. You can see it. Um, I think this. I mean, this is really interesting. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm not sure. I'm probably forgetting 500,000 things as well. Um, but you know, this is what I want to talk about. And who knows what that thing is but this area here is is what it's all about look at it it's definitely sticking out of the ground and I've shown you the original one as well many times here I had to do that and it's all by perspective like I told you it looks really flat now it's not flat there's actually a lot of detail here <laughs> well not in the NASA version of course but it's it is it is a really nice picture honestly uh, because I was able to confirm it here in the amateur video and definitely let me think let me know what you think I'm still you know I'm really mind boggled I'm constantly thinking um, instead of uh, focusing on the video really interesting dome uh, dome shape here by the way I think where did it go anyways I'll think uh, I'll cut it here hope you liked the video and just think, I mean it doesn't have to be necessarily a power plant, but it is very very suspicious, especially since it's uh, it's like here. What if this this was some kind of city there and then, I don't know, they were trying to bombard it I guess? Maybe this was some kind of tank to store water? There are so many million reasons <laughs> how something could form, uh, why it's located, here it is located, where it's located, why and whatever. Um, just, just, you know, think about it. 
uh, definitely take your time and look at this image I've been spending several evenings just checking out this image here yeah? so we've got another interesting video by the way this is this is another interesting creator as well um, see you can, you got these lines here and it's like and then it has some kind of ridge and then another hole here so I really noticed that look at it and this grade is also interesting but uh, not much to it I remember I think there was one more thing I wanted to show you on the NASA image um, I think <coughs> when you look at this I think let me just just let me find the region here quickly why does it left control work to zoom out come on Adobe fix Photoshop there is some interesting stuff here some kind of really interesting line here I think there's actually something here I could just see it just by um, how messed up this whole region is and let me grab here let's grab a look here no I'll just end the video here I'll just let you look so to say so I hope I change your perspective I mean <laughs> this, this, it's, it's not all that flat it's not flat I'm sorry and no matter what what high resolution image you give me, I can just show you. Look, it's not flat, and people are seeing this um, through the amateur telescopes as well. It almost seems like you look through the surface, but I think what you're looking through is um, like um, like kind of through the shadow, through through the dark area there, and then uh, you can kind of vaguely see the things here at the bottom. You can see again here, hundred percent higher up. And this is lower so it's it's weird and this is very controversial it might be very hard for you to understand I understand that if you're new to this or you know uh, you're an average guy so to say you're not really interested in this then you know you might think this is all rubbish because you've seen on discovery channel on the Google Earth how the moon looks looks like and uh, just just let me show you for fun what's open I'm actually work on the series um, I'll show you this image by the way I'll throw this image on uh, Google Plus it is disappearing on the internet uh, this is an image by uh, from Sirius you can see I mean this is just a piece of cardboard laid down on that star and uh, if you look um, look up Sirius it is uh, from a mythological standpoint a really big important thing uh, one of the biggest thing is things in our uh, history basically and uh, someone you can see that they did this this is just a piece of cardboard they just slapped it on um, place the image here on the scanner with this piece of cardboard in front of it and our, you know it's just weird and all the connection you can say Illuminati this and that um, they like that star as well I'm pretty sure of it you can actually find that documentation for free online without any hassle you don't have to like um, drink blood out, out of a skull or some kind of ritual you can find stuff on the internet um, you can see it's not that clear because I don't have it in Photoshop but there's it's like kind of waves like pushing against this star and this is huge and then uh, you can see it's being affected by something from the outside so I thought you know I'm gonna put this on Google Plus so please download this image so that at least I'm not the only guy having this image on his computer um, you can see it's suspicious and it's another thing jeez <laughs> um, what I was going what was I going to show here um, let's go to the moon and completely rubbish so you know billions spent so many probes on the moon and everything and you can't see a darn thing so this means that if you buy a really cheap telescope you can actually literally see more than what you're seeing here now this is look it looks cool really interesting I think there was tiger right yeah uh, I, so I had something going on here as well very um <clears throat> and kind of the thing here you know it looks like a bit like a city but it's actually always aligned to the north I was actually measuring it out but I'm still thinking and it's still work in progress but there's so much stuff I mean guys come on you know get inspired um, start doing this for yourself really cool <coughs> so uh, you can type in tiger you can you know like look for it for yourself here's another one um, 
it looks crazy but all I have to do is like rule out the, the pixels here and they're all aligned to the north which is weird I need to find a couple that are not aligned to the north so like something that looks like a uh, like pixelation basically something like this an area and that is not aligned to the north that would mean that it it hasn't that this is not a creation of processes so you know those those kind of things you always got to confirm um like you can see here got a lot of stuff uh, things going uh, open really my commentary is really confusing i understand that but i hope i was clear enough at least and hope you will look at this for yourself by the way now I think I'll talk that about that in the next video. I have a bit of nose problems here, that's why I'm focusing on my nose. Here's kind of the triangular stuff we saw in one of my uh, earlier videos about the uh, amateur footage platform building thing. Very interesting, you see definitely there's come some kind of natural formation, but these two lines here are very, very interesting. So uh, that's cool. And I'll link you up to this image and uh, check out my Google Plus for the enhanced versions. I'll share as much as possible. As always, thank you very much. Uh, credit to the person that has shot this image and uh, the other images will be in the description. If you have any problems, mister, and you're watching this video, please contact me. Uh, if you want to delete, make me delete the video, that's fine. But uh, that says something about YouTube, buddy. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, have a nice day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I know this was really confusing and it's really, really hard to present. And, uh, you know that's just the way it is I hope I made my point clear definitely the main thing here this is very very mysterious there are a lot of mysterious stuff going on there and I hope you know that we, you will look at the moon from a different perspective as well and um, that's what it's all about that's what it's all about you know so uh, again have a nice day and uh, can't wait till it's weekend <laughs> I got a couple of more videos going on because I mean the protest is, is coming up and uh, yeah, I'll be covering it. I'm still not sure if I should like grab the big camera or not because my cameraman basically ditched me. I can't find anyone else that will film for me, so I might have to do get a style with the phone, I guess, or maybe borrow a handy cam from someone. Those are kind kind of things. But all right, you know, um, there will be new people on the channel as well. I'll be uh, there will be people handing out flyers uh, that will mention my channel and just go, you know, to my channel and check it out and start thinking for yourself. As you can see, in the end, an amateur image has a lot more value than uh, the NASA's image. Although the the image that they gave us was wasn't that bad, honestly. Uh, so um, again. Thank you so much for listening, and see you in the next video. To have a different color than the rest of the moon. Um, so something is definitely going on there. Um, I Let's grab a look on another image. So you can see the rest of the image is fine here. This is the amateur footage. You can see it's kind of squared off here. And it has a different color. Also, it seems to uh, appear to elevate. Um, let me make another layer here. Oops. And let's call that brush. And I'll brush it out for you. And uh, you know, I, d I don't think I have to do that on every single image. If you want it, you can do it yourself. And uh, let me change everything here. Always messing around, you know. And two pixels. All right, that's fine. So I mean, if you look at it, it goes like this. And you can, uh, you like literally squared off where it's it's kind of has a different thing going on there. And you can see also see that this this kind of area here it is elevated it's like it's going up you can see this by this line here and then you can see a uh, shadow here whatever it is but this is definitely higher up this line and uh, same goes for this a lot of debris here it seems to go like slope up which is interesting because it doesn't start so um basically um yeah while well, people think that it's it is a power plant here see so, uh, we're on the original layer this image is from nasa um the images i will be using here i will not be linking it directly to the to the um, to the website where i got it from but uh, this one's from nasa and the rest is amateur astronomer footage um and i will uh, in this video also find out that amateur footage is a lot better than what nasa is giving um his name is um dominique Diedrich, and uh, all credits to him basically 
Um, I had no way of contacting him, uh, asking if I could use the image, uh, the image. But um, you know, I, I'm going to take the risk. I don't care. You have to see this, and I think he did a wonderful job at um, you know taking images uh, of the moon. Now uh, let's let's jump into this one because this is the one from NASA. Just one of the actually one of the best images um, of the moon from them, in my opinion. You see a lot of stuff going on uh, like uh, when you look through an amateur telescope you see the kind of greenish hue here it almost looks like a uh, lake and everything which is really really cool. welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the olympus sky for another crazy episode um up front i would like to tell you um, i might mm, might make some mistakes here and there but because this video is pretty hard to do remember this is unscripted and i will not edit a video um i'm just against that basically but um, yeah, so so let's talk about the Aristarchus crater. Um, I, I'm pretty new to this thing. A lot of people are saying, yeah, well, it's a power plant and this and that. And I have no idea what, why, why people think that. Uh, the only reason is because it's a little bit brighter. Which, um, yeah, it is suspicious, but there's a lot more stuff going on. Um, I would like to analyze this area and I might go into the su into a subject that is highly speculative at the end of the video or make a separate video but I'm pretty sure it's it's not really speculation but you know it's 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 a crazy idea Let, let's face it the entire world has been built by crazy people <coughs> accept it um, so um, which one shall I take? Where, where shall, we, shall we look a lot like uh, some kind of mountain area, whatever you like to call it? So let's first off, let's look at the crater. And um, I will agree that it is different when you look at the moon. And um, if this is a crater, and well, I know I remember like a conversation between Boss Aldrin and Armstrong. They were talking about this uh, feature why it is so lighting up. Now let me zoom out. You can see that is clearly it is sticking out. Um, is um, when you look at other creators, they generally don't do that. I mean, you look, you, you kind of okay. This thing, it's 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 kind of very interesting. Um, they they were talking about it's catching the light from the Earth, which I understand. If you think about a mirror inside a telescope, a parabolic mirror, what it basically does is it kind of catches light here and then kind of focus it here so definitely you know i can understand that the crater because it's kind of shaped like this it it kind of catches more light but why is it not happening to other craters if you know what i'm talking about um this is what interests us who to to look at but um let's jump into it because you go have here the aristarchus crater <laughs> and i i will not like I probably put something like power, not a power plant or power plant in the in the title so that people who are looking for this that they can find my video because I wasn't able to find anything decent about this and you know people one, one person says hey yeah, look it's a power plant and then everyone on the internet goes behind it and says yeah yeah look at it it's a power plant and this and that so entire website opened up just about this look it's a power plant this and that and um, you know I was looking at it and I was pretty sure that that, that is not the case uh, at least in my opinion, but we will get into this. Basically, what we what we'll be, we will be looking at is not only just just the crater itself because it, it is definitely intriguing, but the surrounding areas here. Now, when we will look at this area here, you can see kind of a square, like a rectangular block here with a different color. I mean, look, there are filters going on, that's fine. But you know, the fact that, that this diff that there is a different color there, so filter or not, it does appear